hello welcome to tech chairman in this session we will create or we will see one program through which we can reverse the input string okay so uh, if you see on the right hand side like here i have write one input string that is uh, sharmit you can put any text here and uh, when we uh, execute or call our pro uh, program then it will return the reverse of that string so we are getting the reverse of uh, text sharmit so let's see the program how we can create this uh, basic program for string reversing through rpgle so i have already created that program so we will talk on that so i'm opening this program into edit mode okay now here you can see that uh, on line number 10 i have created uh, i have declared the control options okay so this is mainly for the debugging purpose and our main logic and declaration is started from line number 12 so for uh, to create the logic for string reversing we need uh, these four uh, variables uh, the first one is a string uh, which is uh, initialized with some string that is a uh, share myth. you can put any text that you want to uh, reverse and below to that i have declared one more uh, sti care variable which is of length one that will store and hold one character at a time and below to that we have uh, declared one more variable that will hold the reverse string okay and uh, apart from this we have one more uh, variable that is length it will store the length of the uh, our string okay now we will see the logic so what we are doing here firstly we are calculating the length of the input string so if i am inputting this uh, string so we will calculate the length of this string uh, in this case it will return 7 now after calculating the length what we are doing we are uh, running one loop that is do while loop and the condition of do while loop is that it will execute it or it will continue the loop until or unless uh, the length becomes 0 okay like uh, it will be uh, the logic will be in the loop until uh, the value of length is not equals to 0 once it is equal to 0 it will uh, came out of the loop okay now on line number 23 what we are doing here uh, we are picking one character uh, from the string from the right hand side so if you see like substring we are using sub uh, substring built-in function uh, on the so source string string so which contains right now it is containing text shermit and we are uh, taking the substring from the length so starting position is length length means the length of the string so it is seven so it will point the pointer here on t and from here we are uh, fetching only the one character so the third argument is one so it will fetch out the third correct uh, last character from this string and then we are storing this into str rev so what we are doing here str rev is uh, right now blank so it, we are concatenating these uh, one character to this string so now it is holding t okay now below to that we are uh, decrementing the length variable by one okay and then it will again go to the loop and check whether it is uh, equal or whether it is not equal to zero so right now it is not equal to zero because the length is now uh, six so we will uh, again come came into the loop and here from here we will again fetch the next uh, character so that now it will point to the uh, six position that is i so now again it will uh, do the same thing uh, like right now str rev is holding t and we are concatenating the sixth position character to it that that is i okay so in that way it will one by one uh, pick the all characters from right hand side and store it into the str rev and once the position or length becomes zero then it will came out of the loop and just directly we are displaying that reverse string and in the end we are uh, using str inr equals to star on it means we are uh, setting the last record on okay so this is the main logic mainly we are fetching uh, one one character from the string uh, from right hand side with the help of substring function and below to that we are just concatenating uh, the character uh, in every iteration okay and the function we are using here is a stream 
a trim function it is mainly just to remove the blank spaces if there is any kind of blank spaces so we are just uh, removing those blank spaces it is not mandatory like you can uh, uh, like you can remove this uh, function also but it uh, it is a good way to put the trim function to remove uh, or to take care of all those blank, blank spaces so this is the main logic now we will see the output i am compiling this program now I'm calling this program so you can directly put C in option field and just call it. So here you can see that we got this output. This is the expected output for the text share myth. Okay, so right now it is re uh, we have reversed the string that is share myth to this. So yeah, so that's all for this session. In the upcoming session, we will few, uh, see few more basic programs. So thank you for watching text share myth.